I just want to uh, make a brief comment here. Um, one of the uh, press house, um, w one of the regulars here. Um, I, I don't know. Um, I, I haven't been watching the White House ones as long, so I'm not. Um, I'm not as familiar with them. Um, but one of the regulars here um, wanted to know. Um, well, he's pointing out that okay, Americans are going to put some airstrikes in these two specific contacts that the president announced uh, the other day relative to the time that exists in the video. Um, so does that mean that, like, they're on... And he, what he wants to know is, you know, if the Peshmerga asks for further airstrikes and other objectives, will the United States um, oblige, right? And the press secretary is, you know, telling him that it's going to be on a case by case basis, and and the, and the journalist is visibly struggling with that answer. Um, yes, it's partly because he wants to, you know, provide a narrative for his audience, but you can tell that he himself is having difficulty grappling with the, with the scenario um, because he wants to put it in a situation where, you know, he can say, okay, there was a war. And this group is on that side of the war, and this other group is on this side of the war, and they fought against each other, and this side won, and that side lost, because that's how we think of wars, right? <coughs> but that's not what war is anymore. Um, when when the spokesperson, when, when Pretty Boy Josh here says that um, it's a case-by-case -case basis, he, think that that's what the war is, right? The United States doesn't want to take the side of this entity in, uh, you know, in, in an absolute sense, because, you know, on this battle it might be fighting on the side uh, on the side of the entity, but on the next battle it might be fighting against the entity. And 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 I know that people are going to want to look at that and say this is inconsistent. You know, you fight with them on Monday, and then you fight against them on Wednesday. But that's the point. That's what the policy is. Right? So, on this day, you know, you know, I mean, you have to phrase it like this. This is what being a hegemon is about. Right? When you're a hegemon, you don't look at conflict in existential manners. You don't say, I'm, you know, I'm on this side, and we're going to defeat that side, okay? When you're the hegemon, your position is not in question. And who wins the war doesn't matter to you in, in an existential manner, right? Um, and even in a less than existential manner, really in an economic sense, it, it does not matter to the United States which side wins this conflict in a broader sense, right? But American interests may be served by, um, you know, but by setting this side off against another, and so by backing this side, right? But I mean, the whole point is not that there's an end point and that we're going to win some conflict at the end of the day. Okay, the point is that by backing this side, it destabilizes this area. By backing this other side, it puts this other one in, in a weaker position. And so the American strategy overall is not to win, but to ensure that nobody wins. And the journalists don't want to come to terms with that. I mean, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure you could get them to believe you if you were to sit them down and explain it to them. And they just struggle to come up with alliances and, you know, you know, we're on this side, we're on that side, which, which, which is the, who are the good guys and who are the bad guys? It's, it's a 20th century model of war, right? The war in the Middle East is not about winning anything, okay? It's about ensuring that nobody wins. And, um, that, that exchange really, um, really brought that out. And, I mean, it, it's not that it, that it really brought that out, even. It's, it's more just that the, the the confusion in the media, right? Just this this search 
for for the right. Try, trying trying to find the good guys in a world where it, it's incoherent to even define that. Right? When this generational shift is complete um, and the older people are moved out and the entire press corps is made of people that have never lived in a world where right or wrong mean anything. Um, this process is going to be very different, but at the very least, both sides of the audience, or both the audience and the people presenting the data, um, will at least understand what's actually going on. Right. So yeah, it's uh, I, I'm repeating a narrative that's very it's been, that's been you know stated over and over again. You know you can't win the war, but like, you're not you're not supposed to win the war. You're that that's the the goal is to ensure that the war never ends because so long as the war never ends there, it never starts elsewhere.